Today, we will talk about how to lower SGPT in one week. Let's have a look at the details. Serum glutamate pyruvate transaminase, SGPT, now called alanine aminotransferase, ALT, is a liver enzyme that is vital for energy production. It is mainly concentrated in the liver and kidneys, while trace amounts may be found in the heart and other muscles. When the liver is damaged, SGPT leaks out of the cells and into your blood. Normal SGPT level ranges from 7 to 56 units per liter of blood. High levels of SGPT, or ALT, in the blood may indicate liver problems and damage, but they may also be elevated due to strenuous activity. You may be at risk of high SGPT if you abuse alcohol, use certain medications, or have a liver condition such as viral hepatitis or liver cancer. If you've ruled out all serious causes and you're concerned about consistently high SGPT levels, the right diet and lifestyle modifications, and medical treatment if desired, can bring your numbers down to normal. The first step is making diet modifications. Get more vitamin D. A damaged liver allows SGPT to seep into the blood. According to a recent study, vitamin D prevents liver damage, which aids in reducing SGPT levels. Eat a nutrient-rich, plant-based diet. Eating organic foods helps regulate the liver, allowing it to cleanse itself of toxins and create new cells to stop the leakage of SGPT into the blood. Avoid foods high in fat. Some fat in the liver is normal, but if your liver is more than 10% fat, you have a condition called fatty liver disease. The presence of these fatty cells can then lead to inflammation in the liver and damage to surrounding liver tissue. If the liver is damaged, the damaged liver cells release SGPT into the bloodstream, increasing your levels. Avoid foods high in salt or sodium. Excessive amounts of salt in the body, especially in the liver, cause swelling and fluid retention. This makes it harder for the liver to filter waste. This, over time, can lead to liver damage, allowing SGPT from the liver to seep into your bloodstream, raising your levels. The second step is making lifestyle modifications. Stop drinking alcoholic beverages. This, over time, can create serious liver damage. The more damaged your liver is, the more SGPT can leak out of its cells and into your blood. Get daily exercise. Simple exercises such as brisk walking, jogging, and swimming can improve your overall health in addition to helping your liver stay healthy. Quit smoking. Smoke from cigarettes contains toxins like nicotine and ammonia. When you are exposed to these toxins, they stick to your skin and will be absorbed, giving the liver another workload to filter, getting rid of all the toxins in your body. It's best to avoid secondhand smoke, too, as this has similar effects. Prevent exposure to other harmful chemicals, too. Smoke from air pollution contains fumes, gasoline, and ammonia, amongst other harmful chemicals that have dissipated in the air. These toxins may leak through your skin, causing liver damage and raising your SGPT levels. Work on losing weight if you are overweight or obese. If you struggle with weight issues, you may be at risk of developing fatty liver, which can lead to elevated SGPT levels. Talk to your doctor about safe and effective ways to manage your weight, or ask them to refer you to a registered dietitian. The third step is getting medical treatment. Get a blood sample taken. Your level of SGPT is measurable through a blood sample. In case of acute liver damage, SGPT levels rise dramatically as it is now able to leak through cell walls into your blood. Stop taking over-the-counter drugs. If your liver is already damaged and you continue to take drugs that your physician did not prescribe, which can further contribute to liver damage, consider taking corticosteroids. It decreases inflammation by reducing the production of inflammatory chemicals to less tissue damage. These can be taken orally or can be injected through a vein. Take antiviral medications. The liver may have an infection caused by a virus, such as what happens in hepatitis. Upon conducting a blood test, your physician will know what virus is the underlying cause of the infection and will prescribe antiviral medications. Talk to your doctor about taking interferons. Consider taking herbal supplements. Lifestyle medications paired with herbal supplements may help lower SGPT levels. Talk to your doctor to see if any of these is safe and appropriate for you. Know what your goal SGPT level is. Reference ranges differ from laboratory to laboratory and will depend on the method used. 
However, normal values can be generally found within specified ranges. The normal range for SGPT levels is 10 to 40 international units per liter. Thanks for watching this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel if you like our videos.